Have you ever wondered how boredom can be a powerful tool for personal growth and achieving greatness? In today's fast-paced world, we often view boredom as something to be avoided at all costs. However, Stoic philosophy teaches us that boredom can be a catalyst for creativity, mindfulness, and self-improvement. Before we dive in, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. And here's a challenge for you. As you watch, think about a recent moment of boredom you experienced. Comment below with how you might transform that boredom into an opportunity for growth. Let's explore how embracing boredom can lead to greatness. 1. Embracing boredom as a catalyst for growth. Epictetus said, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Boredom is often seen as a negative state to be avoided, but from a stoic perspective, it can be a powerful catalyst for growth. When we are bored, we have the opportunity to reflect, learn, and grow in ways we might not otherwise consider. By reframing our perception of boredom, we can see it as a chance to develop ourselves further. Epictetus's quote highlights the importance of humility in learning. If we believe we know everything, we close ourselves off to new knowledge and experiences. Boredom provides a space where we can step back and realize that there is always more to learn. It breaks the cycle of constant distraction and allows our minds to wander, fostering creativity and new insights. For example, consider the story of Isaac Newton. During the Great Plague of London in 1665, Newton was forced to leave Cambridge University and return to his family home. With no structured activities or formal education, he had ample time to experience boredom. It was during this period of forced idleness that Newton formulated some of his most groundbreaking ideas, including the laws of motion and universal gravitation. His boredom led to moments of deep reflection and creativity, ultimately contributing to significant advancements in science. In our own lives, we can use boredom as a similar catalyst for growth. Instead of immediately reaching for our phones or finding ways to distract ourselves, we can embrace the quiet and see what new ideas or insights emerge. This practice requires patience and the willingness to sit with discomfort, but it can lead to profound personal development. Here's your first challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you reframe it as an opportunity for growth? Comment below with your reflections and one actionable step you can take to use boredom productively. 2. The Power of Stillness Marcus Aurelius said, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. In today's fast-paced world, finding moments of stillness can be challenging. However, Stoic philosophy teaches that stillness is essential for personal growth and inner peace. By embracing stillness, we can cultivate a sense of calm and clarity that allows us to navigate life's challenges with resilience and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes the importance of turning inward and finding peace within ourselves. By seeking out moments of stillness, we create space for introspection and self-discovery. Stillness allows us to disconnect from external distractions and focus on our inner thoughts and emotions. For instance, the artist Georgia O'Keeffe found inspiration in the stillness of the New Mexico desert. Surrounded by the vast, quiet landscape, she was able to connect deeply with her inner self and create some of her most iconic works. The stillness of the desert provided the perfect environment for her to explore her thoughts and emotions, translating them into powerful art. Practicing stillness can be achieved through various techniques, such as meditation, deep breathing, or simply spending time in nature. These practices help quiet the mind and create a sense of inner calm. By making stillness a regular part of our lives, we build resilience and navigate challenges with greater ease. Here's your next challenge. Identify a moment in your day when you can practice stillness. How can you incorporate it into your routine? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to embrace the power of stillness. 3. Turning Inward, Finding Clarity Through Boredom Marcus Aurelius said, 
the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Boredom often prompts us to seek external distractions, but Stoic philosophy teaches us to turn inward and find clarity through self-reflection. By using moments of boredom to explore our inner thoughts and emotions, we gain valuable insights into ourselves and our lives. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes the importance of our inner dialogue and mindset. Boredom provides an opportunity to examine our thoughts and identify any negative or unproductive patterns. By turning inward, we cultivate a more positive and constructive mindset that supports our overall well-being. Consider the example of the philosopher Søren Kierkegaard. Known for his deep introspective work, Kierkegaard spent significant time in solitude, reflecting on his thoughts and emotions. This inward focus allowed him to develop profound philosophical insights that have influenced existential and modern philosophy. His periods of boredom and solitude were crucial in shaping his ideas and contributions to philosophy. To turn inward and find clarity, engaging in practices such as journaling, meditation, or contemplative walks can be beneficial. These activities allow us to connect with our inner selves and gain insights into our thoughts and emotions. By making self-reflection a regular practice, we develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and live more intentionally. Here's your next challenge. Take a moment of boredom and use it for self-reflection. What insights can you gain about your thoughts and emotions? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to turn inward and find clarity. 4. Cultivating Creativity in Moments of Idleness Seneca said, Leisure without books is death and burial of a man alive. Boredom often gets a bad rap, but it can be a fertile ground for creativity. When we allow ourselves to experience moments of idleness without immediately seeking distractions, we open up space for our minds to wander and explore new ideas. Stoic philosophy encourages us to embrace these moments as opportunities for creative growth and innovation. Seneca's quote highlights the importance of intellectual engagement even in moments of leisure. When we find ourselves bored, instead of seeking mindless entertainment, we can engage in creative pursuits such as reading, writing, or exploring new hobbies. These activities stimulate our minds and foster creative thinking. A historical example of this principle is the composer Ludwig van Beethoven. Known for his intense focus and dedication to his craft, Beethoven often found inspiration during his long, solitary walks in the countryside. These moments of idleness and reflection allowed him to compose some of his most renowned symphonies. His ability to embrace boredom and use it as a creative catalyst contributed significantly to his legacy as a musical genius. To cultivate creativity in moments of idleness, it is helpful to engage in activities that stimulate the mind and encourage creative thinking. This could include reading books, journaling, drawing, or simply allowing your mind to wander without the pressure of productivity. By giving ourselves permission to be idle and creative, we can unlock new ideas and perspectives. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you use it to cultivate creativity? Comment below with your reflections and one creative activity you can engage in during moments of idleness. 5. Building Resilience and Patience Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Boredom can be a test of our resilience and patience. In a world that values constant activity and productivity, learning to endure boredom with grace can help us develop these crucial virtues. Stoic philosophy teaches that resilience and patience are essential for navigating life's challenges and achieving greatness. Marcus Aurelius' quote emphasizes the importance of focusing on our internal responses rather than external circumstances. By practicing patience and resilience in moments of boredom, we can strengthen our ability to handle more significant challenges with composure and strength. An example of this principle in action is the story of Viktor Frankl, a psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor. During his time in concentration camps, 
Frankel faced unimaginable boredom and suffering. However, he used this time to reflect on the meaning of life and develop his theory of logotherapy. His ability to endure boredom and find meaning in suffering not only helped him survive, but also contributed to his significant contributions to psychology. To build resilience and patience, it is helpful to engage in practices that challenge our ability to endure discomfort and uncertainty. This could include mindfulness meditation, physical exercise, or simply sitting quietly and observing our thoughts without reacting. By intentionally practicing resilience and patience, we can develop these virtues and apply them to all areas of our lives. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you use it to build resilience and patience? Comment below with your reflections and one practice you can engage in to strengthen these virtues. 6. Boredom as a Path to Mindfulness Marcus Aurelius said, He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Boredom can be an invitation to practice mindfulness, a core principle in Stoic philosophy. Mindfulness involves being fully present and aware of our thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. By embracing boredom and turning our focus inward, we can cultivate a deeper sense of mindfulness and inner peace. Marcus Aurelius quote, emphasizes the importance of inner harmony. When we are bored, we often seek distractions to avoid uncomfortable feelings or thoughts. However, Stoicism teaches us to embrace these moments of discomfort as opportunities for mindfulness and self-awareness. By staying present with our boredom, we can learn to live in harmony with ourselves and the world around us. A practical example of this principle is found in the life of Thich Nhat Hanh, a renowned Zen master and mindfulness teacher. Known for his teachings on mindfulness and peace, Thich Nhat Hanh often emphasizes the importance of being present in everyday activities. Whether it's washing dishes or walking, he teaches that mindfulness can transform mundane tasks into moments of profound awareness and joy. His approach to mindfulness aligns closely with Stoic principles, demonstrating how embracing boredom can lead to a more mindful and fulfilling life. To practice mindfulness during moments of boredom, it is helpful to focus on the present moment without judgment. This can be achieved through mindful breathing, meditation, or simply observing your surroundings. By staying present and aware, we can transform boredom into a powerful practice of mindfulness and inner peace. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you use it to practice mindfulness? Comment below with your reflections and one mindfulness activity you can engage in during moments of boredom. 7. Reevaluating Priorities and Values Seneca said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. Boredom offers a unique opportunity to reevaluate our priorities and values. When we find ourselves bored, it is often because we are not engaged in activities that truly align with our values and goals. Stoic philosophy encourages us to use these moments of boredom to reflect on what truly matters and make intentional choices that align with our principles. Seneca's quote highlights the importance of contentment and the dangers of constant craving. By using moments of boredom to reassess our priorities, we can identify areas of our lives where we may be chasing superficial or unfulfilling goals. This reflection allows us to refocus our efforts on what truly brings meaning and satisfaction. An example of this principle in action is the life of Steve Jobs. Known for his intense focus and commitment to his vision, Jobs often spoke about the importance of prioritizing what truly matters. In his famous Stanford commencement speech, he emphasized the value of following one's heart and intuition. Jobs' ability to reevaluate his priorities and stay true to his values played a significant role in his success and legacy. To reevaluate your priorities and values, it is helpful to engage in self reflection and goal setting. Take time to consider what truly matters to you and whether your current activities align with those values. By making intentional choices that reflect your priorities, you can live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Here's your next challenge. 
reflect on your current priorities and values. Are they aligned with what truly matters to you? Comment below with your reflections and one step you can take to reevaluate and realign your priorities. 8. Transforming Boredom into Productive Solitude Marcus Aurelius said, If you are pained by external things, it is not they that disturb you, but your own judgment of them. And it is in your power to wipe out that judgment now. Boredom can be transformed into productive solitude when we shift our perspective and see it as an opportunity for personal and intellectual growth. Stoic philosophy teaches us that our judgments and perceptions shape our experiences. By changing how we view boredom, we can turn it into a valuable time for reflection and growth. Marcus Aurelius's quote emphasizes the power of our judgments in shaping our experiences. By viewing boredom as a negative state, we limit its potential benefits. However, by reframing boredom as an opportunity for productive solitude, we can use it as a time to focus on personal development and intellectual pursuits. An example of this principle can be seen in the life of Albert Einstein. Known for his groundbreaking contributions to physics, Einstein often sought out solitude to think deeply and reflect on complex problems. His famous thought experiments, such as imagining himself riding a beam of light, were the result of extended periods of solitude and deep contemplation. Einstein's ability to transform boredom into productive solitude was a key factor in his creative and intellectual achievements. To transform boredom into productive solitude, it is helpful to engage in activities that promote reflection and learning. This could include reading, journaling, or working on a personal project. By using moments of boredom to focus on these activities, we can make significant progress in our personal and intellectual growth. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you transform it into productive solitude? Comment below with your reflections and one activity you can engage in to make the most of your solitude. 9. The Role of Boredom in Emotional Regulation Seneca said, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Boredom can play a significant role in emotional regulation by giving us the space to process our feelings and thoughts. Stoic philosophy teaches that our emotional responses are often shaped by our perceptions and judgments. By embracing boredom, we can create a space for emotional reflection and regulation, leading to greater emotional strength and resilience. Seneca's quote highlights the impact of our imagination on our emotional experiences. When we are bored, we have the opportunity to observe our thoughts and emotions without the distraction of constant activity. This observation allows us to recognize and address any negative or unproductive patterns, helping us regulate our emotions more effectively. An example of this principle is the practice of mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR. Developed by John Kabat-Zinn, MBSR uses mindfulness techniques to help individuals manage stress and regulate their emotions. By encouraging participants to observe their thoughts and feelings without judgment, MBSR aligns closely with stoic principles of emotional regulation. Many people have found that mindfulness practices help them process their emotions more effectively and build emotional resilience. To use boredom for emotional regulation, it is helpful to engage in mindfulness practices that promote self-awareness and reflection. This could include mindful breathing, meditation, or simply sitting quietly and observing your thoughts and feelings. By making space for emotional reflection, you can develop greater emotional strength and resilience. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you use it for emotional regulation? Comment below with your reflections and one mindfulness activity you can engage in to process your emotions more effectively. 10. Harnessing Boredom for Long-Term Goals Seneca said, To be everywhere is to be nowhere. Boredom can be harnessed for long-term goals by providing the time and space to plan and strategize for future success. 
Stoic philosophy teaches that focused and intentional action is essential for achieving our goals. By embracing boredom and using it as a time for planning, we can set ourselves up for long-term success. Seneca's quote emphasizes the importance of focus and intentionality. When we are constantly busy and distracted, we can lose sight of our long-term goals. Boredom provides an opportunity to step back, reflect, and plan our actions more strategically. By using this time to set clear goals and create a roadmap for achieving them, we can make significant progress toward our long-term aspirations. An example of this principle can be seen in the life of Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time. Known for his disciplined and strategic approach to investing, Buffett often emphasizes the importance of patience and long-term planning. He famously spends a significant amount of his time reading and thinking, using moments of solitude to refine his investment strategies and make well-informed decisions. Buffett's ability to harness boredom for long-term planning has been a key factor in his success. To harness boredom for long-term goals, it is helpful to engage in activities that promote strategic thinking and planning. This could include setting aside time for goal setting, creating action plans, or reflecting on your long-term vision. By using moments of boredom to focus on these activities, you can create a clear path toward achieving your goals. Here's your next challenge. Reflect on a recent moment of boredom. How can you use it to plan and strategize for your long-term goals? Comment below with your reflections and one activity you can engage in to harness boredom for future success. Boredom, often seen as a negative state to be avoided, holds the potential to be a powerful tool for personal growth and achieving greatness. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can understand how boredom can serve as a catalyst for creativity, mindfulness, self-reflection, and strategic planning. By embracing boredom, we open ourselves to opportunities for deep introspection and clarity. We learn to cultivate patience and resilience, build emotional strength, and realign our actions with our values and long-term goals. The wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus guides us in transforming moments of idleness into productive solitude and meaningful progress. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. Don't forget to comment below with your reflections on how you plan to use boredom as a tool for personal growth. Let's continue to support each other in our journeys towards greatness. Thank you for watching.